uh, for a while now, and uh, he was expected to cover that particular address uh, by NASA uh, candidates or before it was uh, pushed. Uh, Duncan, so many things happening today from our ABC's statement uh, that, uh, or letter to NASA that they will not avail the Form 34 A's and B's and to NASA postponing its um, address to tomorrow. Do they really, what reasons have they given? Akisa, no further details have been given save for that brief statement. However, I've uh, I talked to a major player within that uh, unit, and of course they've said that uh, yeah, they are handling weighty matters, and therefore they've uh, uh, consulted and agreed that um, they should take time so that by the time they uh, come out and make that uh, decision or that uh, called uh, political big announcement, it will be an announcement that uh, is uh, heavy politically and therefore they don't want to take chances. Of course, uh, multiple processes say that uh, the summit, there are disagreements, some are claiming that we have those that uh, want uh, the, perhaps the opposition to rescind their decision earlier that uh, they will never go to court. Of course, they are saying they have overwhelming evidence. So there are those that are saying they have uh, 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 sufficient grounds to seek legal redress. There are those that are saying they already made a commitment to their supporters that they will not be going to court and that uh, pronouncement uh, was made as late as uh, uh, recently as on Sunday. And therefore, there are a lot, but uh, that is not to say that it has been confirmed by uh, the reliable sources. Uh, however, that is what many are saying, that it could perhaps inform. Remember that the summit is not only bringing together the five, uh, the Pentagon five, the big five within NASA, that is Isaac Ruto, Moses Wetangula, Msaliam Davadi, Kalonzo Msioka, and Raila Odinga, and therefore, there is a lot that is at stake, there is a lot that is on the table that they are, they are yet to agree. Uh, that common ground is what is lacking and that most probably has informed the decision. However, they've said it will be tomorrow morning hours. So that means that probably they could burn the midnight oil to make sure that they have all what it takes to make that big announcement, uh, Akisa. Hi, but for the sake of our viewers, uh, we know that uh, the summit is uh, on consultation or consultations are underway and you've uh, noted as such, but really, who are the players who are involved in these consultations within the NASA summit, if you have that much information, of course? The, the summit was uh, bringing together the political big five. It was bringing together uh, secretary generals from uh, and uh, key party leaders from all the parties. It, it brought together the the economic, uh, the various advisors, political advisors, the economic advisors. Therefore, it was a broad-based unit, and therefore that perhaps explains as to why the consultations or the lack of striking, uh, striking a common ground could be the reason uh, because of the big number that uh, forms the NASA summit. And again, there are a lot of uh, developments that are coming out, and maybe that could be the reason as to why uh, the latest developments might have uh, played part in NASA uh, pushing forward that announcement. We've seen a letter uh, from uh, IBC CEO Ezra Chiloba to uh, NASA Deputy uh, 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 Presidential uh, Chief agent. Of course, uh, they requested the forms 34 as of course, the IBC saying they will do so, but at an appropriate time. We've seen uh, some purported uh, uh, letters of Form 34 A's that are excess books that are, it's claimed they are on IBC portal, subject confirmation. We've seen the Twitter handle of uh, Third Way Alliance Party leader, Dr. Ikura Okot, uh, sort of uh, uh, changing his earlier decision where he had uh, considered defeat and congratulated uh, Jubilee's President Uhuru Kenyatta. Now he says there's overwhelming evidence that uh, there were anomalies in the just concluded presidential election. We've had talks of uh, a conglomeration of uh, civil societies uh, plotting to go to court. And of course, the earlier, um, actually the earlier communication, they said that the government knows they want to go to court and therefore they want to be deregistered. So a lot of factors that are at play could be the decision as to why this particular decision or this announcement might take a bit longer. There are those 
who believe that now there's uh, overwhelming evidence that uh, the process was uh, flawed. So those are some of the issues that perhaps could be complicating matters, so not limiting uh, specifically to the NASA summit on way forward, Akisa. We'll see how that pans out, but I believe you continue to follow up um, uh, this uh, development for us. Duncan Haim is our senior political reporter. I understand uh, we should be closing any minute now to pave way for our Swahili team, so I'll give each of you a minute to just uh, give your closing remarks with the developments that we've seen.